We are freeing our minds and we just ran into intrepid reporter and fearless journalist, the infamous and famous Luke Wadowski of We Are Change. What's up, Luke? Hey. <laughs> so, 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 what have you been up to? Uh, everything uh, from uh, being in the murder capital of the world, Caracas, Venezuela, to doing a dude, full video for. I don't know why, why, why. Oh, dude, I learned a lot from that video. Yeah, we still have a lot more videos coming from it's, that. It's sad because, you know, that could happen here very easily if they, if they get their way. Yeah, it's total hyperinflation, state of emergency. Have you talked to a lot of the store owners and stuff like that? Yeah, we talked to a lot of people, you know, on the ground there, and it was very intense, a very high energy situation, very dangerous situation. What is the situation there in, in Venezuela? country went through over 900 percent of hyperinflation uh, there's a food emergency there's an energy emergency uh, people now are regimented to biometric scanning in order to get food what there's long lines uh, well they have to scan with ID their biometric fingerprint uh, in order to buy food now yeah there's lines down the street uh, not yet, but we will soon. There's lines down the block for food and basic necessities. The government sets price regulations on uh, things like toilet paper, which makes them impossible to buy. So there's barely any toilet paper ba basic necessities. Uh, there's a lot of uh, lack of clean drinking water, lack of water, period. The electrical grid is about to shut down at any time. The government's taken extended weekends. Uh, they're telling people not to use blow dryers and to have organic, natural hair. What's the situation with water? Whatever. Well, it's very hard to access. A lot of the infrastructure in Venezuela is outdated and hasn't been uh, modernized in any way, shape, or form. So the electrical grid of, is extremely old and with other people adding and bootlegging their system and just adding their own cables into the grid. Well, we went to like certain places and certain businesses, and there was no water running anywhere. Um, so you know, stuff how, like that happened. How did happened. you feel coming out of that? Uh, I, we landed in um, what was it? Panama one day, and then Mexico the other, and we were very happy to be in Mexico City. And it's a lot more freer, a lot more happier, a lot more uh, safer to be in Mexico City. Did you get like down, and, like depressed a little bit being there and as well? It's definitely very heavy. It takes a lot to get me down and depressed, but you. It definitely has an effect on you, uh, depending on how much you allow it to. You constantly have to watch over your back. You constantly have to look out for your safety. Uh, you know, we, you can't wear sunglasses in the streets uh, because you become a target automatically. Our fixer was like, no, 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 take away the sunglasses. Why? Because people get robbed and kidnapped uh, all the time there. It's the kidnapping capital of the world, too. Well, what, what do sunglasses have to do with your safety? Uh, they boost your um, attention. Yeah, they, they boost your, like, people will notice you if you have sunglasses there. If we had a camera system? Or this would be gone in a matter of moments. Uh, right before we arrived, there was another tourist who literally just as soon as those airport doors opened, walked outside, didn't even get away from the airport. Like literally, airport doors opened, walked outside, and he was immediately robbed and murdered uh, just five hours before we arrived. So literally, the most dangerous place in all of Caracas is right outside the airport. The state has no control over crime. The state has no control over the food supply. We are approaching a, a, a breaking point. That breaking point could come soon. Violent protests are on the rise against the government of Nicolas Maduro. Uh, there's a very uh, severe risk that it could, in, the, in this year, hit hyperinflation that could reach up to 1,000%. There is a scarcity of food and a scarcity, of, especially of medicine. You see uh, mile-long lines to purchase those basic items like toilet paper. The Maduro government blames Washington for trying to destabilize the country but many still have hope. I would always want to go back. I'm definitely going back to fight for what we deserve, which is freedom and, and a respectable standard of living. Two years after the death of Chavez, the fight for Venezuela's future rages on. All right, we'll catch up later, Luke. All right. Thanks, brother. No problem.